Well, caring for an aging parent is difficult, even in the best of circumstances. It can be incredibly hard and emotional seeing your loved ones struggle. For one North Baltimore family, their community and music is making it just a little easier. This morning, Paul Gessler brings you Norma's voice. The rhythm inside the Griner House in North Baltimore is a bit slower these days. Oh, these birds out here really have a good time. Norma is 91, and she watches for birds from her perch in the kitchen. Oh, uh, they'll be back. And often nods off. She goes back and forth. She goes back and forth. Larry is Norma's son. I'm home. I'm in a home I grew up in. And for the past four years, Ma. her full-time roommate. Mom, mom. It makes sense why Larry keeps calling his mom, Ma. mom. She knows my name because I'm here. Does she recognize that I'm her son? No. Norma has dementia, diagnosed Larry and his siblings say at least 11 years ago. Uh, diagnosed with Alzheimer's. When it actually started, we're not 100% sure. Norma lived independently for years. Go on, Gertrude will take you from here. But now relies on round-the-clock care from Larry and nurse Gertrude. The disease is, you don't know what it's going to do. It affects everybody differently. Alzheimer's attacks memory. I don't know. It's relentless and gets worse with time. It was just a conversation with a stranger. Um, but it's saying that on a regular basis. It's... It's knowing that it won't get better, which is the hardest. You ready? Larry embraces what's left of his mom's memory, and Norma awakens. Remember that song? Can you sing it? Can she sing? More like perform. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then why can't I? Hey, you, can, you ain't got no wings, that's why. Oh yeah, she'll go and go and go and go. She'll go here at the kitchen table. Elizabeth give you that? And she'll go. Well, I guess I'm going, so bye. Anywhere. All right, Mom, you ready? Mostly, she takes her voice on the road to Lake That's Roland. The one bird I don't miss. Larry picks a picnic table. She just enjoys the presence of other people. To share his mom with newfound friends who await a performance. It's a remarkable transformation. You are so beautiful. Transformation is not a strong enough word for Norma's gift. To me. Absolutely incredible. That's the, she sings perfect pitch in harmony. You are so beautiful. It's the pathway to her mind. To be. It's the pathway back to my mom. His mom performed in the Baltimore Symphony Chorus for 24 years. Larry never sang with her until her diagnosis. I don't know most of the lyrics, I Google them. Here we go, Mom, give it to him, give it to him. She lights up, she lights up the world and everybody around her. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You almost never see Larry without his phone, recording his mom's performances for her many Facebook friends. The videos Larry's found are therapy more for other caregivers him included. When we drive out of this park, she won't remember any of this. I understand that, but it's nice that I have the videos. What Larry does with her is as remarkable as her singing. The patience and love and care that he shows is as touching as any part of this story. It's my pleasure. I want my mom to live. You know, I, I just wake up every morning, but Enjoy a moment. Come on, Mom. Thursday's moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Larry and his brother Howard take Mom to the Meyerhoff. Oh, you brothers. We are. And your mother. There's levity to being a stranger. Oh, all of a sudden, I'm a mother. To a mom like Norma. She'll be the life of the party when she walks in. This day, the party is for her. A private rehearsal doesn't stop Norma from conducting in her chair. Row Q, seat 115. The woman's a ham. <laughs> when the music stops, Alto One, Norma E. Griner. A musician and historian shows Norma a program from 45 years ago. December 1976. Another pathway to Norma's past. What do you remember about that? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I have to stop and think about it. <laughs> While she thinks, the brain does not skip a beat on an opera classic. <laughs> She impacts other people. She makes them smile. What else can you ask for? I think that anybody that has this disease has something in them that made them alive. 
you just got to find that pathway. It was. And Norma is. At the Meyerhoff, Paul Gessler for WJZ at 9. And Paul is with us this morning to tell us more about Norma and her extraordinary voice. Yes, yeah, stay with us. We will be right back. Oh my gosh, Norma coming alive as she sings and performs. Obviously touching, beautiful story, Paul, and I couldn't help thinking, is there an explanation for why someone who can't remember her son, right. music triggers something and it all comes back? Mm -hmm. What's, is there a medical explanation? Well, I mean, a lot of experts and doctors think that that side of the brain is less affected, if mm -hmm. not affected, uh, rarely at all. Um, and so that's why music and art is used often as therapy for those suffering from Alzheimer's. Mm. Oh my gosh. And I loved though, I think what her son was saying about that if you are caring for someone with this, finding that one thing yeah. that does just open it up for And she them. really does come alive. I know? can tell. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I need to go down to Lake Roland and witness this. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you know, we wanted to go to the Griner house to really see what life is like uh, and spend a little, at least a little bit of time with them beforehand. And, and it's one thing to talk to Larry on the phone and say, you know, my mom's still nursing that bowl of cereal from the morning. It's another thing to go there and she loves chocolate ice cream. She loves chocolate. <laughs> and to just see her kind of nurse a bowl of chocolate ice cream and have Larry kind of put the music box on, put a song on his phone to really try to just keep her energized, keep her coming alive. Because mm -hmm. if, if not for Larry and his love, you can imagine mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. those days can be like. But now she has the ability to really share her gift that she has had and still has with the world. What an extraordinary son she has. Yeah. For yeah. someone well, to be so caring. You know, Larry says, well, I'm, I'm still in the home I grew up in. I sleep in the twin bed that I grew up in. <laughs> wow. But he took over for his brother, Howard, who was the primary caregiver okay. for so many years. And it really wore on Howard, he said. Oh, he yeah. said, I, I needed to take over just as a gift to my brother right. mm -hmm. to take care of my mom. And that's the story so many families deal with. Right. Mm -hmm you know, juggling between siblings on caring for a parent or a grandparent. I have to tell you, it was, I mean, we were both, who would not tear up, I'm sure mm -hmm. you at home were as well, the beauty of it. But it's also, it's not a sad story about no. Alzheimer's. It made me hopeful. Yeah. It made yeah. me hopeful that if something like that happens to someone in my family who I love, if I can find that thing, yes. part of them will still be there, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, Alzheimer's dementia, it can be, um, Hope is not really associated with it right. oftentimes. Right, right. And so, uh, you know, more than six million Americans have Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. tens of millions worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why Larry says for caregivers, especially when he puts those videos on Facebook, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's who really the real audience is because mm -hmm. it can really be demoralizing for the caregiver. Mm -hmm. And when they see someone Imagine. like Norma, it gives them hope too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you yeah. for telling that story. Amazing. Of story what what a great Paul. story. I hope you all got as much from it as we did. Absolutely. And we'll be right. Oh, no, excuse me. We're going to Tim. <laughs> yes, we are. Tim you, Williams. You know I'm not going to let Paul leave without <laughs> saying, Paul, you and photographer Patrick. Oh, Patrick. oh my Patrick. goodness. Amazing. We were all captivated in, in studio. Everyone was just stopped. Silent. Yeah. You know, Man, thank I, wait, you for that wait, I have to give a shout out to Patrick because Norma uh, has a way of uh, pumping you up. And so she was flirting with, with me, but she was definitely flirting with Patrick. <laughs> Flirt, oh, <yeah>. okay. <laughs> that gave Patrick a little, a little ego boost. Exactly. He deserved it. He deserved it. <laughs> thank you, Paul. 